Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome uh, to the show. This is the final show that I'll do for 2018. Um, guys, I'm here on Christmas holidays, New Year's holidays on Bonnie Hills in New South Wales, which is the mid-north coast. Um, and I have to reflect on 2018 as uh, an absolutely amazing year. I can't honestly say thank you enough to everyone that's been involved. Um, the real big turning point for this year was the Arizona tournament back in, um, I think it was late April, early June, where Travis Bajan invited me to compete in his NAL championships and I met John Brzezink for the first time. Um, Travis for inviting me and bringing me to that event, um, and John for being willing to have me to stay at his home. The story of how John actually came to be on the channel is a very interesting one. It wasn't a case of um, John right from the outset knowing about it. I, it's funny, I, I went to John's place having never met, met the man before, and uh, obviously full of respect for John. Um, my hope was to just get one interview with John. All I wanted to have was one single interview for the podcast. I thought that would have been amazing. And you know, I approached John, I asked John if he would be willing to do the video in. John said, ah, oh, look, to be honest, I'm retired from the sport. I don't have anything to say to the arm wrestling world anymore. And to be honest, I've answered all the questions many, many, many times and I just don't want to do it. So I left it at that. I had to respectfully say, no worries, John, thank you very much. And, and as disappointed as I was at the time, I thought, oh, well, look, I guess I'm not going to get an interview with John, even though I'm here in his home. Um, the NAL tournament went on. Uh, I competed in the NAL tournament. I had a great time. And at the end of the tournament, back at John's place, this is like a day and a half before I was due to go home. Back at John's place, I decided I had to do a wrap up of the NAL tournament. And John sat across from me. He sat kind of behind the camera and watched me record this, this video on this summary of the NAL tournament. And John said to me after I recorded the video, wow, you were actually, you were really good at that. You just kind of rattled that off without any hesitation, no second takes or anything like that. And he said to me, I would have been terrible if I tried to do that. And you, you didn't even seem nervous with me watching you. And um, I think that little moment right there sparked a bit of curiosity in John, because John then asked me, what, what on earth is this? What are you trying to do? Like, John didn't even know that I was a content creator on YouTube. He didn't know anything about the business pan for pan arm wrestling at the time. Um, but that little moment there, one and a half days before I was due to go home, was the moment that John Brzezink was intrigued about pan for pan arm wrestling and what we did. And from that moment on, John came on board. Now, I have to tell you something about the integrity of, of John Brzezink. Not only is he the most respected and greatest arm wrestler of all time, but he is an absolute gentleman. He is so giving of his time and energy as well. John refuses to let me pay him. I've never paid John one cent for everything that he has done for pound for pound arm wrestling. Um, I've wanted to pay John many times. I've tried to pay John many times and he continuously says to me, Ryan, look, let me add some value to this brand before you pay me. I want to just reinvest everything that you were going to pay me back into the sport. So. John himself is an amazing man, not only an amazing arm wrestler, but an amazing contributor to the sport. And um, John, to you I owe my biggest thanks for 2018 because you, the instant you came on board, credibility for pound for pound arm wrestling went through the roof. Um, so again, thank you. To, to everybody else, uh, the people that mean the most to me in pound for pound arm wrestling are the, are the people watching the show. Um, you might not know how much this means to me, how much the support actually uh, increases the value of the brand, Pound for Pound Arm Wrestling, but watching the show, clicking share, clicking like, and talking to, about the show with friends and other arm wrestlers is the single most empowering thing that the community can do. It's not buying t-shirts, it's not, it's not anything else. It's literally just watching, consuming, enjoying, providing feedback, sending me messages of support and positivity. It's, um, that is the greatest thing that uh, the fan base can do, the community of arm wrestlers can do. And it means the absolute world to me. I feel like I say it a lot, but it really does mean the absolute world to me. And um, it's so exciting where Pound for Pound Arm Wrestling has come from in 2018 and where it is right now. We're positioned where we've got arm fights unleashed, just starting to take off. We got heaps, we've got a team challenge event coming up. We're, in 2019, we're gonna be popping up in like five different countries at least. 
Um, it's amazing. The money, the money that's starting to be generated in this sport is, is amazing. And, and I'm privileged enough that I don't need to live off the pound for pound arm wrestling. Um, I get to reinvest everything. So I pay myself 4% of the revenue. 4% of all revenue that pound for pound arm wrestling makes comes to me as a personal payment. Um, and the rest, 96% gets reinvested back into the sport. And as I said, John Brzezank, he's reinvesting his as well. So uh, we're paying main event athletes, we're paying videographers, paying referees. Um, we're trying to make the sport a career for not only myself and John and the videographers, but for the main event guys. So there's a lot coming in 2019. Globally, the sport is in a fantastic place. The WAL is about to ramp up. Uh, the World Elite Arm Wrestling are doing enormous things for the sport. PAL, Igor Mazarenko are doing absolutely killer events. Um, and of course, so many other things. The UAL ramping up, Arm Wars is talking about doing things again. Globally, the sport is really taking off. So I think we're in a fantastic space. And I can't wait for 2019 to kick off and, and beyond because I think we're going to have a mainstream status in our sport really, really soon. All right, guys, of course, again, a massive thank you to 2019.